We're here today to talk about all things private credit and to do so I'm joined by Greg Bendler from Intermediate Capital Group. Greg, thank you for joining us today. Thanks Elliot. Just give us an overarching view on what private credit is. Sure. Private credit is quite a broad term, uh, but very simply what it means uh, when most people use the term is lending to private companies. Uh, it's actually a broader term, but when people use that term, that's generally what they mean. Uh, and private loans to, to private companies or private credit um, is often done alongside traditional banks, but more and more so these days, um, alternative lenders or non-bank lenders uh, are getting into that, that game. Um, firms like alternative asset managers, uh, insurance companies are also providing uh, credit on a private basis to small and medium-sized businesses, but even larger businesses uh, these days. So how has that market evolved then from the banks to the more non-traditional lenders, particularly in Australia and when we do look at uh, offering private credit to overseas? Sure, if I was to summarize it very simply, the market has grown because regulation. Uh, regulation uh, post the GFC or global financial crisis increased dramatically for banks right around the world. And that meant that uh, it curtailed their ability to lend to corporates. Um, and that created an opportunity for alternative lenders or non-bank lenders uh, and other providers of finance to step into that gap and be a lender of choice to, to companies uh, to help them uh, grow and, and, and meet their financing needs. So that's the private credit sector. Within it, are there different ways to play it in different asset classes? There are, yes. Uh, so again, when people say private credit, they typically are referring to loan, private uh, loans to corporates, uh, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, there are other asset classes that uh, private credit is also actively used. Um, real estate is a classic example. Uh, many times when real estate asset managers are looking to uh, acquire a building, they will use private credit. Uh, another asset class that uses private credit heavily is infrastructure, uh, whether that's buying an existing asset or um, taking a loan, private credit, to build a new asset. What are the typical deals that we are seeing here in Australia? What are the big ones? Sure. So uh, probably on the bigger end of town, uh, those types of deals tend to be with a private equity sponsor who's acquiring a business. And when they acquire that business, uh, they, use, they use private credit, they use debt, uh, to help them acquire that business. So they would be one of the larger users of private debt. And again, sometimes those deals will involve a traditional bank. Um, sometimes they won't, depending on the deal. Um, but in most cases, they involve uh, a non-bank lender or an alternative lender, um, such as asset managers, insurers, and, and the like. Now, at Intermediate Capital Group, how do you work with businesses and help them with private credit? Sure, so it is deal by deal or, or, or very bespoke or, or tailored, I would say. And so what, what we look to do is really understand the business itself, um, work with the management team of that business to understand what their growth ambitions are, what their financing needs are, and then to tailor um, um, a private credit package for their needs. And I think that's one of the attractions of private credit is that it is tailored and bespoke. Um, and there is more flexibility. Uh, because we're taking the time to understand their business very deeply, um, we can take a view on um, perhaps taking a bit more risk or being a bit more flexible in the terms that we offer them, which dif differentiates it from the traditional um, bank lending. And I think that's why you've seen the growth in the asset class um, really over the last uh, eight to ten years. Well, Greg Fenler from Intermediate Capital Group, thank you so much for joining us today and taking us through all things private credit. Thanks, Elliot.